This movie kicks off by showing Mu Yong High School, a fancy school in Korea. There's this rich student named Hund Sukum who loves picking on other students. He and his friends like to bother students they think are weaker than them. What's weird is that even the school staff ignore Su Kung's bad behavior because they don't want to upset his powerful family. As usual, Go Jin Yang is one of the students who is constantly targeted for bullying by Su Kung and his friends, and even this bullying is captured on video by a female student named Min Ji. Turning to So Si Min, the new intern teacher at the school. She's trying to fit in with her colleagues and do her job perfectly so she can become a permanent teacher. One day, while she's in the restroom, she overhears a chat between two teachers, Yi Jae Gyeong and Hee Soon. They're talking about the teacher who used to sit at Simon's desk. Simon gets curious and search for information about this teacher online. She's shocked to find out that the teacher do the unthinkable after being bullied by Mu Yong high school students. What's strange is that the other teachers think this kind of thing is normal at the school. After Simon leaves the restroom and walks down the hall, Jae Gyeong suddenly asks her to come to a room. She wants to show Simon the dark side of Mu Yong High School, like a video of Su Kung and his gang bullying an old kimbap seller. Luckily, Jin Yong, who's the grandson of the elderly lady and a new student at the school, steps in to help. That's why Su Kung targets Jin Yong for bullying. Simon can't believe what she's seeing, but Jae Gyeong tells her to stay out of these problems, and Simon agrees with her senior's advice. Later that night, Simon is at a boxing gym, practicing her sports skills. Her friend, Lee Kwon Jong, a police officer, shows up for some boxing sparring. What's surprising is that Simon is actually a boxing instructor at the gym. She used to be a talented athlete in judo and taekwondo too. People thought she'd win a gold medal in boxing one day. But she had to give up her dreams because her dad, So Yong Tak, had a lot of debt, and she had to use her savings to save the gym. Thanks to her hard work for 10 years, the gym is still running. After training with Quan Jong, Simon notices a bunch of animal masks in her gym. She wonders who put them there. Quan Jong thinks it might be her dad, who collected these masks from kids he used to play with. The next day, Simon who teaches at Mu Yong High School, tries to be friendly with everyone. She even looks the other way when she sees some boys smoking. She wants to impress the school and get a recommendation to become a permanent teacher. Meanwhile, Su Kung and his gang decided to disable a security camera at the school so they could bother Jin Yong once more. Simon, who saw this happening, wanted to stop them. But then she remembered what Jae Gyeong had told her the other day so she decided to back off and stay out of it. However, as Su Kung's behavior got worse, Simon couldn't hold back her frustration and decided to warn Su Kung. Just then, another student named Yi Byung Jin, who had been secretly watching the bullying, stepped in and told Simon not to mess with Su Kung. He explained that Su Kung's dad was a chief prosecutor, his mom was a lawyer, and his uncle worked in the police bureau. This made it hard for Su Kung to face any consequences for what he did. Simon hesitated to help Jin Yang after hearing this, but had another plan to save him. A little while later, Simon pretended to be on a phone call and headed towards the hallway where Su Kung was about to kick Jin Yang. She was ready to step in and stop Su Kung, even if it meant putting herself at risk. She told Jin Yang to go back to class and apologize to Su Kung, pretending she hadn't seen him before. Su Kung was frustrated that his bullying plan had failed and wondered who Simon was because he had never seen her at school. His friend Oh Min then told him that Simon was a new teacher who replaced the teacher who had died after being bullied by Su Kung. When Su Kung heard this, he got really mad and warned Oh Min never to bring it up again. That night, Byung Jin, who did part-time work delivering chicken from a restaurant, was practicing boxing during his break with Young Tak. Young Tak had dropped by the restaurant, which was owned by his friend Su Sung Guk, a former boxer like them. After their short training session, Young Tak shared a story about a talented young boxer he used to train. Unfortunately, the boxer's career got ruined because of his father's mistakes. On another day, Simon met up with Jin Young at school to talk about the bullying he was going through. Jin Yong confessed that he had tried reporting it to the school authorities, 
but the teachers didn't do anything because they were scared of punishing Su Kong and his gang. When he went to the police, they said they needed evidence to prove that Su Kong was the one responsible. Jin Yang didn't want to switch schools, he just wanted Su Kong to face the consequences for what he did. He asked for Simon's help, which left her puzzled since she was just a new intern teacher at the school. Meanwhile, Su Kong's parents, who often sent food to the teachers, made everyone turn a blind eye to Su Kong's actions. It was tough for Simon to speak up against the son of the school's main donor. That evening, Simon was at home, still worried about Jin Yang. She suddenly remembered a past memory when she lost in the women's boxing final. Young Tak scolded her, saying she should have easily won the match. He was disappointed and, in the heat of the moment, told her that she was no longer his daughter because his real daughter had died in the boxing ring. Back to the present. During the school break, Simon met Su Kong and his gang on the rooftop to ask them not to bother other students. But Su Kong got mad and warned her not to get involved if she didn't want trouble at school. After Simon came down from the rooftop, all the teachers received a news notification from the education committee. It was about a student at Mu Yong High School causing suffering for many students and teachers due to violence. This news shocked everyone. The school principal, Ju Wei, was furious and wanted to know how the news got out. A bit later, Su Kung's stepmom and Gyo came to the school, angry about the news. The principal and the teachers didn't dare to speak, so Si Min stepped up and admitted that she was the one who reported it to the education committee. When Ngyo hit Simon on the head, Simon chose to stay quiet. She realized she didn't have the strength to confront Su Kung's family. In the principal's office, Su Kung asked Ju Wei what would happen to Simon. But when Ju Wei said he'd fire her, Su Kung kicked the principal's leg and said he couldn't allow Simon to be fired from the school. So Ju Wei, fearing for his position, agreed not to fire Simon. Meanwhile, out on the street, Simon was feeling really frustrated about the bullying problems at her school. She decided to talk to Quan Zhong about whether something could be done to punish Su Kung. Quan Zhong explained that it was a tricky situation, especially because there was no evidence to prove Su Kung was the one behind the bullying. If Jin Yang reported it without proof, he might end up getting arrested for making false accusations. Simon felt even more frustrated hearing this. When she got to her apartment, she saw her dad, who was there to pick up some kids after their boxing practice. But she didn't seem happy to see him and just left without saying much, even though Young Tak tried to greet her. Later, while Sai Min was in a convenience store, getting some ramyeon, she got startled when Su Kung's group showed up and started bothering her. They said she could never stand up to all of them. In that moment, Sai Min remembered Jae Gyeong's advice not to get involved with Su Kung, because she could end up in legal trouble, especially since Su Kung's uncle could easily ruin her, being just an intern teacher. On her way home, still thinking about the problem, Simon accidentally bumped into a drunk man on the side of the road. The man got angry and started hitting Simon's head. This made her mad, and she kicked the man until he passed out. She was determined to find a way to make things right for Su Kung's unfair actions. As for Su Kung, he and his group were playing basketball on a court when another player accidentally bumped into him. This made him furious, and they got into a fight with that player. Not far from the court, Simon was watching the situation, planning to get back at Su Kung for his unjust behavior. She put on a cat mask and attacked the troublemaker. On top of that, Byung Jin, who was delivering fried chicken nearby, secretly witnessed the fight. Suddenly, the police arrived and broke up the fight, causing Su Kung and his friends to leave. The next day, Simon was feeling happy after teaching Su Kung a lesson the previous night. Meanwhile, news about Su Kung getting beaten by a masked person had spread all over the school. Many teachers and students were thrilled with the brave cat-masked figure and considered them a hero. In class, Su Kung was upset when he saw his desk covered in cat-masked drawings by other students. He even threw his desk and didn't pay attention to the teacher. Eventually, Su Kung decided to leave school with his friends. Still furious, Su Kung drove his car at high speed on the road, scaring his friends. He reassured them that he could take his anger out on Jin Yang. When they mentioned Jin Yang's name, Su Kung just smirked, 
showing he liked the idea. Back in her boxing gym, Sai Min felt satisfied with how she had confronted Su Kong while wearing a cat mask. Quan Zhang, who knew that Sai Min had fought her student while dressed as a cat, reminded her not to continue because there were other ways to seek justice. Meanwhile, in a building, Su Kong and his gang made Jin Yong take part in a cruel game. He had to walk down the stairs without his shirt and with a plastic bag over his head. When he reached the bottom floor, he ran to find safety and ended up at the fried chicken restaurant where Beyond Jean worked. Soon Guk was shocked to see Jin Yong's condition and immediately helped him. Byung Jin rushed off on his motorcycle to Simon's gym to get help. Just as Simon was about to get rid of her cat mask, Byung Jin arrived and told her about Jin Yong being forced to go shirtless by Su Kong and being at Sun Guk's restaurant. He also mentioned that he had called the police when he was at the basketball court and knew that Simon was the one behind the cat mask. At Sun Guk's restaurant, Jin Yong looked worn out from all the bullying so he grabbed a knife and went outside to confront Su Kung. Meanwhile, Su Kung was happy to see that Min Ji had recorded Jin Yong's struggle down the stairs. He contacted a friend to edit the video before uploading it online. Min Ji walked away, not liking Su Kung's increasingly bad behavior. Shortly after that, Sai Min arrived at the billiard hall wearing her cat mask, and a fight broke out between her and Su Kung. They fought each other until suddenly Jin Yong showed up with a knife in his hand. Sai Min realized that Jin Yong intended to harm Su Kong and tried to stop him, even though she got injured in the process. Because she lost a lot of blood from the wound caused by Jin Yong's knife, Sai Min was in the hospital getting treatment. Young Tak was really worried about his daughter, who had almost lost her life. When he saw her cat mask, he decided he wanted revenge against Su Kong. He went straight to where Su Kong and his gang were hanging out, wearing the cat mask, and challenged Su Kong to a duel. Sometime later, Sai Min, feeling like she had recovered, convinced Quan Zhang to let her leave the hospital. She wanted to protect Jin Yang, who might be in more trouble. As she left the ward, she unexpectedly saw Young Tak sitting in a chair, beaten up after fighting with Su Kong. This only fueled her anger toward the troublemaking student. At the hospital, Simon also bumped into Jagyam, who was taking care of her younger sister. Simon was surprised and trying to hide her real reason for being there. On their way back home, Young Tak tried to apologize to Simon for his past mistakes. He talked about the time when she participated in the National Olympic Boxing Selection Final. Simon seemed to be winning the match, but in the final seconds, she started holding back her attacks, allowing her opponent to knock her down. This had made Young Taek really angry. Unexpectedly, before the match, Sai Min had met someone who offered her money to pay off Young Taek's debt, but on the condition that she had to lose in the final match. Young Taek had known about it and used to see her as a loser, but now he understood the sacrifice she had made, so he apologized to her. Sai Min, sitting in the seat, stayed quiet, trying to hold back her tears upon hearing her father's apology. The next day, Su Kung and Oh Min realized that the masked cat figure was from their school. They immediately started searching for clues about the person's identity by checking the arms of their fellow students to see if they had a cut on their left arm. Unfortunately, all the students they checked didn't have the cut, until Su Kung accidentally noticed Simon, who had hurt her left arm after colliding with another student. Finally, he figured out that she was the masked cat figure he had been looking for. Later, Su Kung bumped into Sai Min in the teacher's room and deliberately grabbed her injured arm. He asked her why she saved him when Jin Yong was trying to harm him. Sai Min admitted that she did it to protect Jin Yong from getting in trouble. Frustrated, Su Kung initially tried to suffocate her by covering her head with plastic, but he changed his mind when he saw a flyer about a boxing match at the school festival. He decided to challenge her in the ring and show everyone in front of the students and teachers. Simon agreed because Su Kung threatened to give the police the video of Jin Yang's attempted harm on her if she refused the challenge. On another occasion, Jin Yang was on the rooftop and seemed like he was about to do the unthinkable. Thankfully, Simon arrived and talked him out of it. She reminded him of his grandmother, who cared deeply for him, and asked him to hold on. After hearing Simon's words, 
Jin Yong let go of his dark thoughts, and Sai Min immediately hugged him, comforting him as he cried. A few days later, news about the match between Su Kung and Sai Min had spread. On the day of the match, Byung Jin excitedly handed out cat masks to all the students to support Sai Min. When the match started, Su Kung used all his self-defense skills to dominate Sai Min, even causing her hair to come loose during the fight. The audience was shocked when they realized that the person behind the cat mask was a woman. But Su Kung didn't let up, and just when Sai Min was about to be declared defeated, she turned the tables. She took off her mask, surprising everyone once again that Sai Min was the masked fighter. Then, she secured her victory by kicking Su Kung out of the ring, making him kneel in front of Jin Yang. She asked Su Kung to apologize to Jin Yang, but he stubbornly refused. In the end, the movie shows Sai Min and Jin Yang reporting Su Kung as the bully to the police station. Not long after, Min Ji arrives to provide evidence of Su Kung's violence at the school. Some time later, Sai Min is seen in her new job as a gymnastics instructor after leaving Mu Yang High School. Moral lesson from the story, never underestimate the power of a cat-masked teacher with impressive boxing skills to bring justice to a school filled with bullies.